Okay, so I can only imagine how boring it would be to sit through another episode of Topology Tools. So instead of doing that, what I want to do is show you some faster alternatives to make uh, forms. You're like, thank God. But okay, let's see here. First off, this is my low form, and I just brought it into Maya. And what I'm going to do is grab all the edges here. Hold control and right click on it. Go to edge ring utilities. Go to edge ring. Control right click to faces to faces. And there I have a piece of my form. Now I could do that back in ZBrush too using the extrude command or the um yeah it would build a part based upon this part but it won't build it with such low topology sometimes so or you know it's just so much easier to run around here sometimes then you get kind of stuck in the zbrush rut and you want to do something a little bit different so here's duplicate face the blue arrow will yield this giant chunk of geometry now and you can see that chunk really closely matches the actual outside of the form. So now I have a form sitting on top of a form and if I move it, there it is. Okay. Okay, well it gets better than that, of course. So, well let's go in here and uh eliminate some faces. We're going to eliminate some faces where there is at least one strand in the back. Let's see here. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yep, so if I get rid of three on this side, and two on the other. That should yield a, a nice weird looking hole. Cool. And then something in this area. Counter to that. Good. But now, if I'm going to produce this form, what, what's going to happen is I'm going to need something around the, the edge here to produce, produce it so I can warp it around a lot within ZBrush. So what you do, you double click, you go into polygons. extrude this edge hit the blue button and size it down in Y and X okay again you do that for all forms okay, dun, dun, hit the button Y and X Good. Now, if you wanted it to look a little bit nicer, you can go in here and mesh average vertices. G on the keyboard will do that. There we go. So what will happen now is when I go to extrude the giant piece, this one, then blue arrow out, it'll add thickness to it. And it'll do it in such a way that, to, to kind of show you how this works, three on the keyboard will show you that this goes around the outside edge, this goes around the outside edge, making it very easy to warp it and manipulate it later on.
All right. So what I want to do is just like export selection. I'll call this arm chunk or something. And I just want to make a backup copy of it. Certainly I could go into the the traditional go Z here. with just that highlighted and it would bring it right in. I can clone it, go back here and append it. And there we go, we have a arm piece. And it really does closely match what I wanted. I wanted to to go underneath the other piece just like that. And I didn't want to sit there and take all day using the topology tools. So that's just a very fast alternative method to it. And now you would just sculpt and move it around. a little bit more interesting look here and we could divide it up play around with it And for every time I divide, of course, it's going to get, it's going to shrink into it again. And I got to constantly play with it. In the next video, I want to show you how you can mirror it across to the other side and manipulate two of them at the same time.